Wednesday, February 1st, 2023. That's the M177 block from the GLC. I received it the day before yesterday, 10 o'clock at night. Today I wash it. That's the first wash to check the block. It might be another wash. We're going to see about that. Because from a low mileage uh, car, from an engine. Okay? What I'm doing at this point. First I sent at the machine shop to check the bore here on the main line, on the crankshaft, where it sits here, because the bearings, there was spinning. There is no any sign of anywhere here. There is one small dent here at this point, and here there are two lines only. From the machine shop they said to me, it's okay, there is no problem. That's what they said, but you know me. I'm gonna double check to don't have a, to have a peace of mind, to don't have any headache. All right. Then, uh, how it came from the machine shop? When it came back, it was attached the oil thermostat. The okay, the bolts, the plugs here, and this one. It was in place for this oil gallery here, for this one, and then there is also one from the side here. All right. It was in place. That means they didn't remove it, they didn't unscrew it. There is a mark, there is a color here that uh, indicates when it's torn down and they make one line. All right. I don't understand how they check the oil galleries with the plugs on it, you know. <laughs> but, okay, that's me. Then, then, what you see here, it's what it takes usually for me to inspect and clean and make sure that the oil galleries are clean. On the M77 you have a couple of plugs. The, the example, there is this plug here that it's not ending anywhere. All right, I just put the plug here to machine to drill the hole over there. This is for the turbocharger to turbocharger oil return from the valley. All right, so they have somehow to drill it and then they have to plug it. Right, then there is the main line here, the oil the oil gallery for the oil jets that you see the plug back over here. It does make any sense to um, to remove it? I'm gonna show you why, what I'm doing, and then a couple of plugs that they're from up. You can see it through there. Uh, they're nice. This it's not a freeze plug, all right. These are plugs. They have to make these plugs to have to make a drills to, to drill some points to have an access, and then they're plugging it again. Uh, then what I'm doing? What I'm doing? I have a fishing line, <laughs> all right. You need to have a fishing line. Yeah, I have this one. This is for the ladies, for the eyes, that they clean the eyes. You know, I have shown you this before. It's not the first time. This is just to clean it. All right. To see that everything is nice and clean inside. I have a brass, another brass, another brass, straight screwdriver, brake cleaner, a stainless steel rod that's been polished here front and doesn't bite anywhere to don't scratch inside the old galleries. Uh, you need a tactical light. <laughs> All right, it's a cheap one. It's not something expensive. Camera. The other one, the Delbor cage, I have it for the cylinders. They bridge the same thing, the straight edge, the same thing, the filler cage, and one M M177 stop piston just to check the cylinders. Not only with the Delbor cage, but also with that. Now, I'm gonna show you on the camera what I'm taking, how I'm taking it. All right, you're gonna tell me that, you know what, Tassos, sometimes it collects so much garbage, where is the plug? Because there is no way to clean it. There is a way to clean it, if you think about it. Now, I'm putting the side camera here. I'm putting it here inside to have an eye on the, one second now, with one hand holding the phone, the other hand directing the camera. Just one second to rotate it properly to be able to see something, all right? So I'm putting it this way to see the plug. And if you come here and you see the plug, it's nice and clean. There's nothing inside. I make sure to be nice and clean with the brake cleaner and the brushes, <laughs> all right? Then you can check all the oil gallery one, one by one, like this. Alright, 
you can check the oil gallery for the main crankshaft or for the crankshaft main bearings here if I put the camera inside you can see this that it's nice and shiny where I'm pointing dang it all right and that's what you want to see in all of them that does have nothing inside not even a single piece all right then you're going here let me show you as an example i remove this plug from here all right this plug if you follow it first you have this oil gallery you see the light it's here if you follow it down there it's communicating here this being communicated here and then there is this oil gallery and this oil gallery then there is also from this side all right that this one if i put the light here you can see it down there all right then there is another one that it's here on the cylinder head on the deck actually here that you can see the light here I need to follow all these paths. Here is the oil thermostat. All right, that's the lines for the oil cooler. Then we have here for the tensioner. It's been drilled this way here. You can see there what I'm saying. And then they put a plug to supply with oil. Then there is another one that this, this one here where I'm putting the light, communicates with this and here with the tensioner all right then you have this one that communicates with this and it goes because there is there are two tensioners one for the main uh, timing chain and then the other one for the cylinder head uh, for the other ones on the cylinder head on this one's on the block uh, then you have also this that if you watch inside it communicates with this oil gallery. But this oil gallery, like I said earlier, it's that oil gallery over there. What's the point? Oil return. Oil, um, the, the, the oil return from up. The oil galleries. Here where is the engine oil heat exchanger. All of this need to be spotless. Need to be excellent. As it is right now. Okay. If you make it up, you can see even more from up. There are more things. But just to, to have an idea, this is happening usually before I close the engine. When I have checked everything that I have, see the cylinders are okay, that all the blockage is okay, that's nice and straight, the surface are okay, the cylinders are okay, the main line here for the, for the blockage is okay. Then I'm double checking the, all the oil galleries to make sure that there is no any dirt inside, especially on the sleeved blocks that from the machining it didn't stack something inside because after that you have to F yourself up with whatever you have to take it away to make sure that it does have anything inside. You need to blow with air like crazy. You need compressed air to blow. And sometimes I'm putting some pipes, you know, some small lines. I'm putting it on the air gun to be able to reach the air to take it out. It's involving time and you have to be 100% sure that when you start closing the engine, you're not going to be contaminated. You're not going to have anything inside. Fine. Um, so. You see what I didn't brought? I didn't brought another one thing. Yeah, okay. That's that's the plan. So far, I didn't see any problem. I don't see any metallic savings that need repairing inside, need to clean it up or something. Like some other blocks that I have shown you in the past. Not M177. All right. I don't understand from the machine shop how they check the oil galleries when the plugs was on and they didn't move nothing or the oil thermostat. That's okay. It's fine. Yeah. Let me make it upside up. And this is how it looks like from up. That's the plugs that I was referring earlier. Okay. This is the oil return for the turbochargers that you saw that's been drilled there over there if I put the light you can be able to see that I mean it makes sense right you understand that's straight all right overall looking good 
the deck it's okay i don't see any reason to be resurfaced cylinders are on specs the number five cylinder here has a little bit scoring you see some lines it's not the ideal all right there is no lip here up here just with a wire wool with a soft wire wool 3m very soft wire wool i clean it Yeah, babe. I wish to be the cylinder like this. See, this is nice. This has a little bit of scoring, but again, it's not. It's not uh, like an egg. It's not. Uh, it has 100 millimeter all the cylinders, plus minus. Uh, not not minus plus. Actually, it's a close deck. I know it's 83 millimeters only the diameter, the dimensions, the bore. Again, if you bolt down the cylinder heads, because these blocks they're not like the cast aluminium from 90s and 80s. It's much softer. Okay. You're gonna get the run out, but again, it's it's fine, it's okay, no problem whatsoever. Surprising here, where's the housing for the where's the thermostat? It's nice and clean. You're gonna tell me low mileage sensing, what you're expecting, right? Yep, yep, makes sense. That's the other oil gallery that I was saying earlier have also from this side this one here and you have also this one that this giving also to this gear here this for the water pump and this is the idler on this side that's there is one main chain and then there is one chain for the bank two and the bank one nice not bad not bad at least we have some good news uh, what's remaining to be done? I haven't cleaned yet the caps. That's why I had the engine upside down, actually. I need to clean it. I need to bolt it down. I just want to see it by my own eyes, by my hands, that it's okay. And when it comes the new crankshaft and the new bearings, the last verification with the plastic aids and turning the crank at the end, like always, to see that it spins nice and freely. Not freely, freely. How it's supposed to spin? <laughs> All right. It, like I said, this is the first wash, but I, I pay attention more. I was not in hurry because I might not wash it again. If no need, if everything is fine, I might not wash it again. That's it. Small update. Whenever I'm gonna receive, if I found, sorry, sorry, if, if I see any problem with the cranks are bearing caps when I put it in together, I'm gonna make another video. Whenever I'm gonna receive the Crankshaft, oil pump, piece connecting rods. I'm gonna make again a video. I don't know with what parts they want me to close the engine. Uh, some, one time they said to me with the stock, and the other time they said to me with the upgrade piece of connecting rods. We're gonna find out. We're gonna see about that. Okay. Did I mention this from GLC? It's gonna be on the title. Yep. Let's move on. I have to repeat it again. I want to have a peace of mind before I wrap it. Before I do anything else, I want to check again the oil galleries. Another one time, no problem. Better spend 20 minutes, half hour, than to regret it later on. And then, washing the cranks and bearing caps, mounting it, measuring it, and if everything's fine, then I'm gonna wrap it and standing by for the rest of the parts. Small update, small update, 14 minutes, go figure out. Yay, lovely. Thank you very much, have a nice day.